Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to explain using theorems 4, 5, 7, and 9 why the function is continuous at every number in its domain and to state the domain. So we have q of x is equal to the cube root of x minus 2 over x cubed minus 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to write this as q of x is equal to f of x times g of x, where f of x is equal to the cube root of x minus 2 and g of x is equal to x cubed minus 2, or sorry, 1 over x cubed minus 2. And if you multiply f times g, you get q. And we know from theorem 4 that if f is continuous and g is continuous at a certain point, then q is continuous. because q equals f times g. f is a root function, uh, g of x is a rational function. Therefore, by theorem 7, f and g individually are um, functions for which uh, they are continuous at every number. In their domain, and therefore their product Q by theorem 4 is continuous at all the numbers in their domains. And what are their domo the, the domain restrictions? Well, for the root function, the Q root of x minus 2, this is an odd root, so there are no domain restrictions, right? You can't take the square root of a negative number, but you can take the Q root of a negative number. So f of x, it's just all real numbers. G of x, it is a rational function, right? 1 over x cubed minus 2. And the domain restriction is therefore that the denominator x cubed minus 2 cannot equal 0. Therefore, x cubed cannot equal 2. And um, taking the cube root of both sides, x cannot equal the cube root of 2. So therefore, if the only domain restriction, because f doesn't have any, the only domain restriction is that x cannot equal the cube root of 2, that is the domain restriction um, of the whole function, and therefore the continuity restriction for the whole function, um, where it is only that x cannot equal the third root of 2.